Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is coins of geek land. So as usual, we'll be understanding the problem statement first, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed our channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel it will really motivate me to make more such content for you and definitely the channel will be helpful for you so do subscribe my channel also join the telegram community as well we have multiple members like you on our telegram channel so obviously we'll be helping each other we'll be growing together so make sure to join the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so let's understand the problem statement now right the problem says in geek land there's a grid there's a grid of coins of size n cross n you have to find the maximum sum of coins in any subgrid of size k cross k right so the note is coins of the negative denomination are also possible at geek land so here you can say uh, you can see that this is our first example n value is 5 and k value is 3 so what you have to do is you have to find out the maximum sum of coins in any subgrid of size k cross k so here the value of k is 3 so in this scenario in this particular given test case we are getting the output as 48 and the subgrid that is providing us the maximum sum is this one 867 867 so this is a subgrid of size 3 cross 3 right and that is providing us the maximum sum. So if you will sum up all these elements present in this subgrid, you will be getting 48 as the output and that's what we are having. Let's proceed further. So here n value is 1, k value is 1. So just one element is obviously we have to provide. So that's what we are getting. So what we have to do is we have to complete the function maximum sum which takes the matrix mat size of matrix n and value k as input parameters and returns the maximum sum. Expected time complexity is big of n square. Expected auxiliary space is big of n square. Right. So I hope the problem statement is clear to you. Now let's understand the logic part that how will we basically approaching this particular problem. So basically what we're going to do is we'll be using an extra space here that is we'll be using a 2d array let's call it as dp or something else that you want right so in this array what we're going to do is we are going to maintain the sum how so the size first of all the size of this array is going to be dp n plus 1 n plus 1 right row and column so if this is the test case as of now i'm considering so what is the size of this one 1 2 3 4 5 5 cross 5 right so dp size is going to be 6 cross 6 so let's we write 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so what we're going to do is um uh, here that is for zeroth row and zeroth column the value is going to be just zero itself so we'll be putting here what zero only so let's put zero now what we're going to do is we have to put the value for this 1th row and 1th column so here we'll be taking the help of this mat array that is provided to us so here we'll be putting the value that is present at mat of i minus 1 j minus 1 while we writing in the loop so this is the thing that we're going to follow so what is the value here here kya value that is 1 right now we have to check the value above as well what is the value zero value in this side as well zero and we'll be subtracting this value that is in diagonally we can say right why we'll be subtracting you will come to know when we'll be filling all the values so as of now you can see they all are zero so no effect will be there we have to put just one we'll be proceeding further so now we have another one so for this as well we are going to follow the same thing right we are going to follow the same thing so what uh, we'll be getting here is this is one above this is zero but here this is one present right so one plus one you'll be getting two and this is zero so two minus zero it will be two itself okay so basically what we're doing is we're storing the sum that is there up till this particular element in this xdp array that we have taken this is what you have to do here the sum that we have 
एरे में कितना है वन यहाँ मूव करेंगे तो सम कितना होना चाहिए टू यहाँ मूव करेंगे तो थ्री इधर पे फोर इधर पे फाइव सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग राइट दैट्स वॉट वी आर डूइंग हेयर सो वील बी प्रोसीडिंग हेयर सो ऑब्वियसली यू नो वॉट वॉट इज द आउटपुट इज एक्सपेक्टेड वन प्लस दिस एलिमेंट टू थ्री टू प्लस वन थ्री एंड दिस वन इज जीरो दिस वन इज जीरो सो नो एफ Here also it will be four, it will be five. You must have understood how we are filling. Let's fill this as well. So the element that is present in the matter here, here is that is two plus the element that is presented at the at the just above that is one itself. So two plus one will be having three, right? And two plus one three, three plus zero that will be zero itself. Three plus zero, that will be three itself, and three minus zero, that is the diagonal element. So you will be getting here what three, right? Now you have to fill this part. So the element is two, two plus two four plus three one plus three seven minus one six. See, the element here was two, right? Two plus two four plus three seven. Minus one. So why we are subtracting this one? Let me tell you now. Now the thing will be clear for you. See, यहाँ पे हम क्या कर रहे हैं? जो यहाँ का element जैसे कि यहाँ पे two था, ठीक है? तो आप ऊपर यहाँ तक का जितना सम आया, वो हमारे यहाँ पे store है two, ठीक है? तो आपने वो particular summation उठाया. Sorry, अभी ये वाला two नहीं, ये वाले two की बात हो रही है, है ना? तो ऊपर यहाँ तक का sum कितना आया? टू जो कि हमने ऊपर से उठाया है ना यहाँ पे ये टू यहाँ पे कितना है वैल्यू हमारा जो जिस करंट आई जे पोजीशन पे हमें टू टू प्लस टू फोर यहाँ का आ, फिर जो यहाँ पे हमने सम स्टोर किया है दैट इज थ्री है ना यहाँ पे थ्री है सो ये क्या है वन प्लस टू ऐसे लिख लेते हैं ठीक है तो ये वाला यहाँ से लिया तो ये टू ये वैल्यू थी टू प्लस टू फोर हो गया और यहाँ पे जो ये सम स्टोर है ये थ्री है तो ये वाला ना वन जो है वो रिपीट हो गया है ठीक है एक बार इसके साथ गया यहाँ पे और एक बार इसके साथ ये थ्री के साथ में तो ये रिपीटेशन हमें हटाना है एक ही बार तो कंसीडर करेंगे राइट सो दैट्स वाई वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग जो डायगनल वाला पोजीशन है ना ये जो इसके डायगनल ही है इस पोजिशन को हम इस वाले एलिमेंट को हम हटा रहे हैं सिमिलरली हेयर ऑल्सो वी विल फिल ना सो वी हैव टू टू प्लस थ्री फाइव फाइव प्लस सिक्स इलेवन इलेवन माइनस नेक्स्ट वी हैव अगेन टू टू प्लस फोर सिक्स सिक्स प्लस नाइन फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू टू प्लस फाइव सेवन सेवन प्लस ट्वेल्व नाइनटीन राइट नाइनटीन माइनस फोर वील बी हैविंग फिफ्टीन ओके नाउ अप टिल वेन वी आर गोइंग टू टू दिस सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू द के वैल्यू हेयर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट किस इज थ्री तो जब हम इस वैल्यू को हिट कर लेंगे जब हमारी i की वैल्यू जो है i की वैल्यू जो है वो हमारी i एज वेल एज j i j का हम यूज करेंगे i एथ लूप एंड j एथ लूप ठीक है तो जब हमारी i वैल i की वैल्यू जो है वो थ्री या उससे बड़ी हो जाएगी और j की वैल्यू जब थ्री या उससे बड़ी हो जाएगी तब हम क्या करेंगे ना एक मैक्स वैल्यू मेंटेन करेंगे क्योंकि एट द एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द मैक्सिमम सम दैट वी आर एबल टू गेट ना सो तब हम वो मैक्स वैल्यू रिटर्न करेंगे तो एज ऑफ नाउ तो ये हमारी वैल्यू भी हिट नहीं हुई है ठीक है तो हम फर्दर फिल करेंगे अभी आई की वैल्यू तो थ्री हो गई है बट जे की वैल्यू थ्री नहीं तो हम यहाँ फिल करेंगे तो वी हैव थ्री थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स और ये तो जीरो ही है तो कोई इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा देन एट एट प्लस सिक्स फोर्टीन प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी माइनस थ्री सेवनटीन अभी देखो ये हमारी जे की वैल्यू भी थ्री होने वाली ठीक है तो इसको पहले कैलकुलेट कर लो सिक्स प्लस नाइन फिफ्टीन 15 प्लस सेवनटीन सेवन फाइव ट्वेल्व थर्टी टू थर्टी टू माइनस पे आ गया हमारा 26 ठीक है मैक्स को आप या हम एक वेरिएबल ले सकते हैं एम एक्स मैक्स जो भी आप नाम दे लो इसको इनिशियलाइज कर लेंगे अकॉर्डिंगली uh, आप इनिशियलाइज कर सकते हो ठीक है इंटीजर डॉट मिन वैल्यू हम लोग इसको इनिशियलाइज कर लेंगे फिर हम क्या करने वाले इसमें uh, जैसे कि अब हमने ये अपनी वैल्यू को हिट कर लिया ठीक है के एथ वैल्यू को तो आई की वैल्यू हमारी थ्री हो गई ठीक है तो अभी ये वाला पोर्शन है ना हमारा ये वाला पोर्शन ये वाला ये वाला पोर्शन है देखो ये पर्टिकुलर है इसका जो टोटल सम है ना वो यहां में मिला हुआ है यहां में मिला हुआ है ठीक है तो हम क्या करेंगे 
मैक्स हमने ले लिया डीपी ऑफ आई जे की वैल्यू क्या है ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स हमने ले लिया ठीक है तो अभी के लिए तो ये ठीक है हमारा प्रॉपर मिल रहा है लेकिन हमें ना जब हम फर्दर मूव करेंगे तो कुछ वैल्यू हटानी पड़ेगी सो डीपी ऑफ आई जे इज वॉट ट्वेंटी सिक्स नाउ वट वी डूइंग इज वी आर सब्रैक्टिंग डीपी ऑफ आई जे माइनस के दट इज डीपी ऑफ थ्री जे इज थ्री के इज थ्री डीपी ऑफ थ्री जीरो तो वट इज द वैल्यू डीपी ऑफ थ्री जीरो जीरो इट सेल्फ राइट देन प्लस डीपी ऑफ जीरो थ्री तो वट इज द वैल्यू जीरो थ्री दैट इज जीरो इट सेल्फ राइट जीरो थ्री दैट इज जीरो इट सेल्फ राइट माइनस डीपी ऑफ जीरो जीरो सो ऑब्वियसली यूल बी गेटिंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स इट सेल्फ सो मैक्स वैल्यू एज ऑफ नाउ दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स राइट यू विल बी कमिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड यू विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट ओके वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग सो नाउ वील बी मूविंग दिस पार्ट so for this as well you can see i value is greater than equal to 3 and also j value is greater than equal to 3 because j value is now what 4 so for this as well we have to maintain the max part now if you will see here so now uh, up till here our our subgrid was what consisting of these element 1 1 1 2 2 2 386 but now our sub subgrid is going to be what 1 2 8 This one 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 two 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 eight six seven right so but here whatever the value is going to come what the value will be first of all let me write that particular value so twenty six we have a root tail here then we have seven seven plus twelve nineteen nineteen plus twenty six nine six five forty five forty five minus nine okay so you will be having thirty six here so here we will be having thirty six right so thirty six is what the sum of this complete subgrid 1111222238678 but we have to consider the sum of the subgrid that is of size k 3 cross 3 so we have to remove this part that is this 1 2 3 summation now we have to remove it so how will be doing so so dp of ig value is what 36 right we have got 36 so here what we doing subtract dp of i value is 3 3 j minus k it is 4 minus 3 1 so what is the value of dp of 3 1 and you can see the summation if you will check here so 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 so we are subtracting 36 minus 6 so you will be getting what 30 you will be getting 30 right also we are subtracting the value that is presented dp of i minus that is 3 minus is 0 4 so value is obviously is what at uh, 0 4 the value is what 0 itself and at uh, here also we are doing the same thing so from here also you are going to get 0 because uh, i value is 3 minus 3 0 and from here you will be getting 4 minus 3 that is 1 so value at 0 1 is also 0 so max value will be what now 30 because 30 is greater than that of 26 right so we will we have to store the max so this particular subgrid is giving given is giving more sum than that of the previous one that is from this one right now we'll be moving here so here what you, what you, the sum that you're going to have here is 3 36 plus 3 39 39 plus 15 if you will do and then if you will subtract 12 so here we'll be getting 42 now the same scenario for this as well now the subgrid that we're going to consider is this one this one 1112226738 so it means we have to remove this particular chunk that is 112238 this sum we have to remove because up till here we having we are having the sum of this whole this complete thing right so uh what we can do is so dp of ij is 42 minus dp of 3 j value is what j value is 5 5 minus 3 that is 2 so value at 3 2 what is the value at 3 to 17 and if you are going to sum this so 1 plus 1 will be 2 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 plus 3 9 plus 8 17 right so this completing we are removing so also we are removing the element that is presented dp of 3 minus 0 so from here also you are going to get 0 and from here also you are going to get 0 right so you know whatever like if the row is zero na so obviously the value is present is zero itself right so we are simply subtracting 42 minus 17 from which we are going to get 42 minus 17 if you are going to do so we are going to get um, 25 right and 25 is lesser than that of 30 so max value will remain as it is that is 30 itself same thing we are going to do for this part as well so 
here what we're going to do it, get is 4 plus 6 10 and these values are zeros right so nothing will happen here uh, max value we are not going to do because i values is still not greater than or equal to 3 so here if you will calculate the same way we are going to get 25 now here you will get what you will get 38 right now here we have to do uh, follow the same procedure again so 38 we have got right so it means what chunk we are considering now the chunk we are considering we have to consider is this one 2 2 2 this one this one 2 2 2 3 8 6 4 4 4 it means we have to remove this this one thing that is 1 1 1 that is what we have to remove so again we are going to do same thing dp of ig value is 38 38 minus i value is what now this time i value is 4 4 and then this is 4 minus j value is what 3 3 minus 3 0 so the value at 4 0 is what that is nothing but 0 itself then we are doing plus dp of i value is what 4 minus 3 1 and j value is what 3 so a value at 1th row and 3rd column that is 3 itself so that will be added to so 0 plus 3 we will be having 3 minus from here you will be getting i value is what now i value is 4 4 minus 3 that is 1 dp of 1 and 0 so 1 0 because you know i j and k both are 3 so 1 0 is obviously 0 so from here you will be getting just 3 itself and we are subtracting 38 minus 3 so you will be getting 35 now if you will add this chunk because you know overall sorry 35 will not come here 35 will be stored in our max variable okay so overall uh, if you will check up till here this complete chunk the value will be 38 but a subgrade that we have to consider is of size 3 only 3 cross 3 so we have to remove this 1 1 1 summation is what 3 so 38 minus 3 obviously you are going to get 35 right so that's what we are doing is we are continuous continuously following these steps only so i hope now the process that we are following to solve this particular problem is clear to you in case still there is any doubt take your copy copy pen and try to dry run the thing that i the approach that i just told you now then you will be getting a proper understanding of the same so in case the that is clear so proceed to the coding part otherwise understand do watch the video again you will definitely get it i'm sure right so let's proceed to the coding part now so here you can see we have followed the same thing that i just discussed so this is the max variable initialize with integer dot min value dp array right we are having the size n plus one n plus one right and we are having this for loop so if i value zero or g value zero the value at ij at position will be zero otherwise what we are doing is we are calculating we are determining the dp of ij value in this way that met of i minus one j minus one that's what we have done because you know uh met of zero zero value you have to consider but here i value will be what one in that scenario dp of one one we are basically uh or one zero uh, one one obviously right because at j equal to zero the value will be zero so one one we are calculating so we need the value at met of zero zero plus dp of i minus one j i j minus one I told you now you pele a crow see up the king a fill row same reggae column go come carrying it and for diagonally while I be checker we have to subtract and I, and I even told you that why we are subtracting this part because it is leading to repetition and we have to re, uh, remove that particular thing right so now in this if loop uh, if sorry if a statement what we are checking is that if i value is greater than equal to k and j value is also greater than equal to k then we have to keep track of the maximum sum that we are able to obtain right and at the last we have to simply return this max value so i hope the coding part is also clear to you even i have provided the code in the description for the reference so you you can even refer that so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching keep learning keep coding Bye bye